Well, yesterday I did a teacup Sunday for my group or my blog, Coffee in a Teacup. But unfortunately I had to delete it because it, it became too pixely and you couldn't probably see everything that well. So I'm going to do a short one today to replace what I had to delete. It's an educational video that I put up on YouTube that explains how coffee was served in the different countries and how they made these what's called coffee cans a coffee can c-a-n now if you do a google search you'll come up with nescafe cans and all those things which you don't really need unless you're a collector of you know kitchen alien so coffee cans was the name of how they would drink coffee we would probably call it a short black or it could be a long black a weakened espresso and they would have what was known as a coffee pot now this is from a, around it's a susie cooper coffee pot and it's from around the 1950s 60s but previous to that let's go over to here well, there's another coffee pot again susie cooper with the uh, little jug and the sugar container so let's go and have a look at some of the coffee cans from different eras or or countries so this is a japanese one it hasn't got any backstop but as you can see it's got the lovely Japanese looking portrait. I'm moving over to this side. And this one is French. It's Haviland, France. And it is very classy, the shape. You see the the frills and the added French sort of look. And this one is Le Mange. So we've got two styles there. Now, if I go down here, this is a little coffee can. This one's a tiny bit bigger. And then over here, these are coffee cans, which are Japanese. So they like to have them quite quirky, the handle. And of course, this was the retro style. So people would have their coffee, short, black, or a long black, but in a very small cup. And they would have it like they would enjoy it the way that they would normally drink it. I know in Spain they have a short black and they just put a tiny bit of froth milk in it. Now, another coffee cup, but this time we're going into the 1980s because. This brand, which was very popular, Villaroy and Bock in the 1980s, they had this, this is sort of textured. Okay, so I've given you some information, but what's the difference between what we have seen as a coffee can or what's the difference between a small cup so we'll go over here okay. 
And this is what's called a demi-tasse, again, a French word. It's a small cup and, and saucer. And look at this, it's made in Australia. You see, Westminster was huge in the 50s, 60s, and I think the early 70s. And they did some beautiful, beautiful, uh, you know, glazing and that. And it's quite collectible. But it's not a coffee can. It is a demi-glaze. Demi-glaze. A demi-taze. So, other demi-tases. Let's have a look. I've got lots of coffee. Oh, here's one here. Now, this one, lovely shape, very small. And if you look on the back, it's Johnson's. Johnson Brothers made in England, but Johnson also made in Australia. So that one. And then at the back there, these ones didn't have any sauces. So it's beginning to be like a mug. And they were big in, again, the 70s. So coming over here, this was more the Japanese that had the cup shape without any handles and it was mainly used for tea. So there I have, and this is I put up for sale, is a beautiful Japanese tea set, four cups and the tea cup, the teapot. Beautiful. So another Japanese one, not as well made as this gorgeous one, but still quite collectible, especially with the birds and uh, the texture on it. So there is another example, and I'm not sure, I'd, I'd call this more a demi -taste because after the war, many things changed and they were making all different types of teacups and coffee cups and whatever because they were exporting them to the British colony countries such as South Africa, Australia, Canada. So over the years, I have collected many different teacups, as you can see here. And many of them have come from those countries. Not so much in America. And I haven't really collected a lot from India, even though India was part of the British colony, but I think many of the English people sent them home because very different style to what the, the Indian style of drinking tea. And of course, they had the beautiful chai, which is such a lovely flavour. So here I have I'll keep it to about 10 minutes. This is a demi -tase. It is a beautiful Ainsley. It's got the number. And they are super collectible Ainsleys. So thank you everyone for having a look at my first video on coffee cans. And we will learn more as we go along.